everything. He used to ask, uh, "Acha, the scene is happening. What are the songs being recorded? Who's singing? What is the what are the lyrics? Everything, each and every detail." Wow. I used to bless everyone. My name is uh, Maria Amor. I'm the founder and president of We Care for Humanity, based in Los Angeles. And our mission is to promote universal humanitarianism. And we advocate education, health, and wellness, eradication of poverty, empowerment of women and youth. And just like your organization, which I already saw and read, that uh, you do so many things for humanity. Um, I have uh, first encountered working with San Narancani Mission in New York uh, through Dr. Shalu Kaswani, your representative uh, to the United Nations. Uh, we worked together in this uh, event during the Women's Month. It's called The Healing and Empowering of Women and Children. And uh, collaborating with you, partnering for that event, I have seen the strength, the, the harmony, and the lo love among the members of San Narakani Mission. And that is the reason why I am here today. From there, from that point, I came to know about the late Baba Ji, Baba uh, Hardev Ji. And, and we became so interested because, as you know, we hold this humanitarian awards at the United Nations and we, we honor the greatest humanitarians of the world. And that's why, Your Holiness, I'm very thankful for this interview. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks Thank for you coming. So much. Uh, Your Holiness, I would like to uh, ask this question uh, to begin with. Could you enlighten us about the word Narankani? And could you share with us a little bit about the history of the San Narankani mission and the ideology of it? When you see God mm -hmm. all around you and when you see God in each and every person, mm -hmm. because we know we are all children of the same father. Mm -hmm. So it's like everybody is equal. We do not believe in caste, creed. Mabai, Mabai Jilid like uh, equal stress on gender equality, males, females, mm -hmm. all the same, as human beings, plus being children of the same father. So we are all equal. So Narankani means um, leaders, leaders with equal, uh, uh, with equality. And with... Uh, seeing God all around you. Okay. And seeing God in each and every person mm -hmm. so that that leads to love, peace, tolerance. That's and Babaji right. always taught us like, if there's a border between the two countries, it's not a line that's separating the two countries. It's a line that brings two countries together. It's together. a meeting point. Like he, nice. everything was taken as positivity by him. Like he tried to bring positivity in each and every field of life for everybody. It's very nice. I've read about little bit of the history like it started long long time ago in 1929 yeah. um, uh, could you share with us the the founders the people who made the Southern Khan mission it's uh, Baba Bhutta Singh Ji mm -hmm. in Pakistan in Pakistan yeah. okay and then Baba Akhtar Singh Ji was a, his follower again mm -hmm. they started in Pakistan then after partition between India and Pakistan mm -hmm. Baba Akhtar Singh Ji moved to India and set up the mission over here and then like this place used to be all barren mm -hmm. at that time, marshy land, so like gradually and gradually we and started. And who started this foundation? This, this uh, building this was by Baba Hardev Singh Ji. Oh, so it's through his leadership this, that, you expanded yeah. more. Yeah. I think I read that. that um, 36 years he was like day in and day out he was working for humanity he gave so much love to everybody mm -hmm. be it a small child or an old person everybody felt like he loves me more than anybody else for him it was not just the three daughters 
or his sisters. Mm -hmm. That was a family. Mm -hmm. Whole humanity is his family. Is his family, and that's what he taught us, taught us to do, to love each and everybody as a family. That's a great legacy that he left yes. behind. But um, one of the legacies that I've read that I think that really sends an impact to the world is his message about oneness. Right. Would you care to explain to us about oneness? It's like when you see God in everybody, you mm -hmm. know, you're all one. You're mm -hmm. all together as one family. Mm -hmm. So, with, Regardless of with, creed and, and color. No caste, color, creed. Yes. We do not believe, our mission does not believe in caste, color or creed. That's why. In That's fact, why. we have followers from all aspects. That's wonderful. Um, let's discuss a little bit, Your, your Holiness, about the uh, Sandarankani Charity Foundation. You do a lot. I've, when I open the website, when I search Sandarankani on the web, a lot of things comes out. There's the blood bank, there's the tree planting, cleaning of, of uh, railway stations, railway stations. Hospitals. there's just too many and you've been doing this for such a long time. Um, could you sh share us a little bit of details about the blood bank? I We were discussing it earlier that the blood bank was opened up in okay. before last January and that was a like a mileage something stepping stone for the mission first blood bank that's great and it, it, it exploded like everywhere yeah. you do it now and our followers like the followers of the mission donate blood over there free of cost free of cost yeah. wow how, how do you all, do all it? our blood donations we have here like they were telling you inside on the mm -hmm. 24th mm -hmm. every year all around not only India but mm -hmm. America Canada Australia UK parts of Europe Middle East it's all like free that's, blood donation. That's huge. And that's Babaji's teachings again. Service to humanity. That's what he taught us. So it's been like a signature of the Sandarankani about yeah. the blood donation. Ever since 1986. Oh, since 1986. Since 1986. We started and up till now, lakhs and lakhs of units of blood has been donated by the mission. So how many people have you helped? How many lives have you saved? Thousand. Now 900,000. And a unit saves how many lives? It depends like if they need the plasma from mm -hmm. the blood. Plasma is used for that mm -hmm. patient. Blood, blood is used. But then sometimes if they want to use it for three people like little bit. So we could safely say that you probably have helped 1.5 million people. And that's all over the world. Even Babaji and myself, we were donating blood. I stopped donating, in fact, about two years ago, till two years, I told you after. Wow. I was, regular, uh, I was a regular donor. leading by example. So yeah. definitely um, more people would follow your footsteps. Um, so that's the blood bank that you do, the, the blood donation. What about the, the cleanliness uh, um, that, that you are propagating in the country? Because I know for one, uh, I mean, I love India, I, uh, but one thing that I noticed, there are pollution in some places, also you will see it not so orderly. So how do you do this? How do you help the government? Like, Babaji you? said pollution, either if we have it in our hearts or mind, that's also bad. Uh -huh. If there's pollution outside, again, that's bad Right. for health. So both pollutions are bad for health. And Correct. then. We had been doing cleanliness drives for a while, quite a while, but then year before last, or was it last year, when Mr. Modi started Clean India. And, so and since then we've clean, cleaned up uh, like 52 stations, almost 52 railway stations every month. And wow. then this year on Babaji's birthday, 23rd. And you do this every month? Every month. I have been to one railway station. I think uh, that is in Delhi. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, it's kind of small packed and so you're responsible now for the cleanliness that I see I guess and you have volunteers every month doing this yes and this year on Babaji's birthday 23rd of February we cleaned up more than 262 railway stations this year and our mission has donated more than again one like ours 
I'm, I'm very, very impressed. First of all, I'm speechless because I've never seen so much uh, devotion coming from volunteers. And I mean, I've been a volunteer all my life, but it's still, you know, it's hard for to, to encourage people to come and join the cause, to volunteer their time, sometimes their uh, money, not only energy, and, and there must be a really, really good foundation for them to give on a regular basis their time and effort and energy and, and the passion doing that. And, and so my next question is, how do you do this? I, I, I already know that the foundation is great, but I still want to know the details from you. How do you mobilize your volunteers? It's like Babaji said, service to mankind is service to God. So yes. that's, that's the right. motto behind it. And the Sant Nirankari Charitable Foundation, they've been doing it for uh, years. And the, 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 the devotees, the and volunteers, we, yeah. believe this. Yeah. And we've cleaned up hospitals, not only the general hospitals, but we've cleaned up TB hospitals, tuberculosis hospitals, speciality where nobody wants to go because they're scared they'll catch the sickness. But our volunteers go and clean. That is so important. The, the hospital are the first thing that really, you know, uh, uh, show cleanliness. And I think that's a good thing that you're doing, cleaning first the hospitals before anything else. And then we clean up certain tourist tourist places as well, as well like Kutub Minar we cleaned up. This year they cleaned up the Taj Mahal and Red Fort. So the government of India must be already appointing you as the some sort Random of messages. ministers of cleanliness, the Sanarankani <laughs> mission. Mm -hmm. And um, do you do this also outside the country? Like uh, Yeah, this year. In UK it said they planted 1500 trees and then there was a flood somewhere year before last in UK they cleaned up. It, they happen all over India. America, Canada, UK, mm -hmm. and then like I was telling you about the food drives in Africa, right, and right. then there was one in Canada as well, America, Canada, mm -hmm. we keep having food drives. One word of wisdom I saw from the website, so when I opened there's so many words of wisdom that I read, but what he said, or I don't know if it's coming from you, your holiness, it says, the purpose of living is serving humanity. That's Babaji's vision. That's Babaji's vision. I think that is so well. It's a teaching of the mission, our mission. Like. Mm -hmm. That's so really beginning. good because normally we say the purpose of living is happiness. But uh, yours is different. Yours is more really on humanitarian side that the purpose of living is humanity, serving humanity. So like home, the, yeah. there's a slogan of the mission in Hindi, Manav ko manav ho pyara ek duje ka bane sahara. It says like uh, we human beings should love each other and mm -hmm. be a support for each other. That's great. Um, Your Holiness, um, let, let's divert the question to you a little bit. Um, when uh, when uh, His Holiness uh, Babaji perished and of course my condolences again what did it mean to you being the successor as Sadhguru of the mission it's a big responsibility i'm a humble servant of the mission and i hope to carry forward Babaji's legacy the way he wanted the amount of love he gave everybody mm -hmm. so sorry um i know there's there is no amount of comfort. It's a big loss, not only for the mission, but for the humanity. For humanity. It's a big loss. I, I could un totally understand, not probably as much as the loss that you feel right now. I, I recently lost my mom just a few months ago, like last October. But for you, who lost a husband, a friend, and a guru, who is being looked up to by so many people and hope for humanity. It must be a huge, huge, huge pain loss. is there. Pain is forever, I think. It will not be completely perished. But the task that you have on your shoulders right now. He gave so much love to everybody, like I told you, be it a small child or an old person or a middle-aged person. 
I hope I'm able to give. I'm sure that uh, you'll be able to carry out the mission and vision of His Holiness. Um, I have seen a lot of your uh, work. It, it shows that you have worked with him shoulder to shoulder, shoulder in, in propagating spirituality and serving humanity. What can you say is the strongest legacy that you have learned from him and you think that you will also carry out to your children and to the rest of the members of San Narangkani? It's love. Like he was love personified. So I want to take forth the love and give, be able to give it to everybody. about the mission, about the vision and mission of uh, His Holiness uh, Babaji. Um, with the legacy that he had left behind, with the foundation that he created, with all the humanitarian works that he had done, there is no amount of recognition and honor that can be bestowed on him because he has done so much and will continue to help humanity. I think that what he started will be, will, will exist forever. The legacy that will exist forever, people will uh, continue to follow him, his mission and vision, and that's, that's why uh, we are doing our part, being an organization as well, who honor the greatest humanitarians of the world, that uh, we make sure that uh, we, we give a little of something honor His Holiness uh, in spite that He had left already the, this world. But because also by honoring Him, we honor ourselves.
hot day. I, I thank all of you for coming out here and thank you again. I have so much admiration, but first of all, so much respect for the Sound Alangkad Nation. For one, because of all the retired works that you are doing and using spirituality to be able to implement all this. That is so beautiful. I am in the world of philanthropy, so I understand and I value every little thing that you do for other people. That is that is what I focus on, that's what I need for right now. So everyone I see who's doing something for somebody, even small, the smallest thing, that is still impacting humanity. I would like to congratulate first of all the, the school, the San Francisco Mission Public School, because you know this is probably one of the greatest um, mission in life is to educate children because this is where all it starts, education. And as well, I'd like to congratulate the teachers. You know, without you, okay, we would not learn anything. It would be very hard. Just like uh, what you're saying in the uh, S&M, you need a teacher to guide you. And definitely, the teachers are guiding us all the time. So, congratulations to you. I'd like to just share a brief about her, though I have complete five pages of the information. But the princess is an international humanitarian celebrity, the recipient of Darja Kerabat, an honor in Philippines. She's a seasoned diplomat, cultural and humanitarian icon, peace advocate, television host, marketing Mughal, entrepreneur, producer, paint artist, fashion designer, event coordinator, and endorser. Professionally, she is the founder and president of We Care for Humanity, which is a non-profit organization, the creator and chairman of Global Officials of Dignity Awards, the GOD Awards, vice chairman of the Global TV Awards, and a number of others. As a dignitary, she is the home minister of the Royal Kingdom of Sulu, 
She is the global ambassador of the International Human Rights Organization, IHRO. She is the publicity ambassador of HWPL Korea. There are many more uh, places where she is associated. Among her achievements, which again are uh, abound, but among the remarkable ones, she is the speaker and honorary at, uh, she, she was a speaker and honorary at the 6th World Conference of Humanity, Power and Spirituality in the year 2014. She also participated in the international event organizer or global sponsorship coordinator World Peace Summit 2013. Among the awards that she's received, she's received the Samman Humanitarian Award, 6th World Conference of Humanity, Power and Spirituality, Doctor of Divinity conferred by Order of Hagiasmus, Republic of Indonesia 2013. I still have a number of uh, affiliations. She is associated with ECOSOC and the mission is also associated with ECOSOC as having the consultative status as an NGO. So there are many samman that they have been given to them and for the Samaj Kalyan, the Sanstha or the Swayam is also given to them. Yesterday, she came, she came yesterday. She took the blessings of Her Holiness Sadhguru Mata Savindar Hardev Ji Maharaj. She also visited the Nirankari studio and thereafter she visited the community kitchen, the Langar Sthan in the Rankari colony. And she sat down on the floor, Zameen par baiht gai, behan Sudhiksha ji ke saath, aur wahi par Langar pravan kiya, usse swikar kiya, aur itne harsh ke saath inho ne swikar kiya, ki inki chahe par wo jo manavata ka, aur humility ka bhaav hai, wo saaf saaf kar bakshi. So we have amongst us, she wants to, honor the mission and the life and teachings of His Holiness Baba Hardev Singh Ji Maharaj, Crown Princess of the Royal Kingdom of Maharlika Dar Salaam, Maria Amor. Good afternoon, Her Holiness Mata Savinda Ji. May I have your permission to speak? It is with great pleasure and honor to be here with you today. And I would like to thank Brother Rakiji for the wonderful um, introduction. Again, my name is Maria Amor. I'm the founder and president of We Care for Humanity based in the United States. It's an international organization promoting universal humanitarianism and advocating education, health, eradication of poverty, empowerment, of women and youth. I am also the creator of the Global Officials of Dignity Awards. And I also came from the Royal Kingdom of Maharlika Darussalam and currently one of the special advisors of the, of the Director General of the Philippine Economic Zone Authority. So it's a pleasure for me to be here. Yesterday, I had the pleasure of interviewing Her Holiness, Mata Savinderji. And I must say, I'm very enlightened about the ideology of San Narankani Mission. Our two organizations correlate with each other. Of course, the difference is that SNM is much older, with stronger foundation, much bigger. And our organization, of course, is smaller <laughs> and fairly new. But regardless of the age and size, we are both here. We both exist for the love of God and love of mankind. You serve humanity through spirituality and universal brotherhood while we try to impact the world by promoting universal humanitarianism, and one of which is by honoring the greatest humanitarians of the world. And that is why I'm here. We Care for Humanity believes that the only hope for humanity is through humanitarianism. We have to help each other we have to work together. Each and every one of us has a purpose in this world. Man, woman, child, adult, 
able, disabled, we must do our part in this world in eradicating poverty, in eradicating violence, eradicating inequality. Just like what His Holiness uh, Baba Hardev Ji said, the only solution is oneness. We cannot serve humanity without oneness with God and oneness with mankind. And because of his legacy, the message that he left, all of you here, the legacy of serving, the sole purpose of living is serving humanity, I am here in front of you to announce that we, the We Care for Humanity, and the fifth Global Officials of Dignity Awards that we hold at the United Nations annually, hereby announce the award to be bestowed to the late Babaji, the Supreme Spiritual Icon of the Year. And this is going to be done in August at the United Nations. Bol Sadguru Baba Haradev Singh Ji Maharaj Ki That is all. Thank you so much. And we will need all your support because we are honoring the true master at the United Nations. Thank you. Nidhiya Chabda Ji welcoming Sister Maria Amor, the Crown Princess of the Royal Kingdom of Maharlika Darul Salaam. New York, where I guess the other night is being 